This conference will now be recorded. If you face any issues, please let us know. We will help you, okay? So we have taken a new shell and a new notepad file. Now I'm going to write a program that is Python program to print multiple this multiplication table of a given number okay so you can write the program of multiplication table a given number so as we all knows uh, as a given number that is who is giving over here that is user is giving so what we have to take the first can anyone comment or else can you anyone say what uh what is the function that we are going to use to take input from user what function is that Yes, we're going to use input function. So I'm taking a variable over here that is x, x is equal to input of multiplication table. Of I am giving some notation and I am giving sorry so I have to take the input right so that is enter the number okay so I am taking an number over here which should is an integer so i will keep and it should be an integer value okay now i'm taking printing that value that is multiplication table of the given number is so I have to print the number two that is comma I'm giving x the number so now we are going to use a small for loop that is for I in range I already explained that range will carry uh, from it will start from zero iteration zero to and so on so over here i am going to use I, I need to print table from 1 to 10 so what should be my value so that is one comma output should be one output plus one that is 10 plus one that is 11 and i am printing the value that is thing so what is my table contains that is i comma amp i want to print multiple right that is x comma i and i want to print is equal to right 
is equal to comma what should be the multiple that is x into i okay so if i take i as 1 that is 1 into 1 is equal to x is 1 right x is our given number that is 1 1 into 1 1 that is our output let's check this the saving i'm so going to save my code So I'm placing this code in chat box if anyone wants to copy the code and you can paste it. So I'm going to run this program by clicking run module. So here my Python interpreter is asking me enter the number. So what should be my number is I am giving I want to print a table of 16. If I hit enter see multiplication table of given number is 16 is printing me is it printing correct value it's not printing the correct value right why is my voice is audible to all right so here we want instead of i we have to take x that is our given number so i'm receiving my code and i'm running it i'm placing the code in chat box okay see so if i run my code it will ask me the number so i will give the number as this time i want to print uh, 18th table See 18 is 18, 18 is 36, and 18 plus 19 is printing my 18th table. Clear? This is this is how we can print tables in Python. So uh, on this you have a task that is. You have to print the tables. Here I am printing only one table by taking only one input, right? Sir, please repeat that again. Okay. See, I am taking what is my program is I want to print a multiplication table of a given number. Okay. A given number. So who is giving over the number he is? user is giving so i want to take an input function that user wants to give the input so here i'm taking a variable that is x or you can take your name x is equal to i'm taking input value enter the number number is an integer that's why i'm taking an integer value of input okay you can take an integer value of input and print the value that is multiplication table of given number is What's our given number? We have to print over here. And I'm using a small for loop that is for i in range. Or whatever table starts from 1 to 10, right? But our Python interpreter takes the one value as 0. That's why I'm taking the last value is uh, n plus 1, that is 10 plus 1, 11. Here I want to print that is our x value. It may be 15, 15, 1. I'm taking into as x and 15, 1. The, um, I is an input from 1 to 11, right? I is now 1. 15, 1, the 15. That is x is my 15 into i is 1. That is 15. Clear? Now I'm running my code. It'll ask me for input. This time I am going to give the number like 55 okay 88 i need to print the 88th table okay i'm hitting enter see 
it is giving me 88th table okay clear for all so uh, the tomorrow's task is our uh, multiplication tables so you have to take two two inputs from a user that is i am going to show you here that is two inputs from user the one is starting one and the other one another one is ending so the starting one is the number of the table that is i want to print from one and the ending is also a number of table that is 20. so you have to write a program that uh, if i enter my starting uh, number of my code is one and ending is 20 it should have to print me all the tables from 1 to 20. understand i want to print all the tables that is 1 to 20 by giving it two inputs here i am giving one pin one input i'm getting one output but you have to give two inputs that is a starting number and ending number and you have to print the all tables present from starting number to ending number clear that's your task for tomorrow okay all are clear so now we're gonna go on See? respond please all are clear for the task okay uh, and one more thing is if you are completed your task uh, just send those all screenshots whatever your code is to our drive link okay yesterday yes you did uh, someone send me the code uh, maybe it's right or wrong that's good but uh, if those are right if someone judge that those are right you can uh, go and upload those all screenshots or those all codes in our drive link okay we, our admins will paste the drive link in the group as well as the chat clear okay can we move now see the drive link is in the chat box so send your all quotes to the drive link okay is it clear to all Now,
is my voice is now audible okay so we're going to design small diagram that is uh, based on so yesterday uh, someone asked how can we change our position right so i'm taking an x-axis y axis so these are my x axis and y axis so i want to print a circle not here but turtle should not start from the middle okay it should not start from the zeroth position that everyone is doing mistake i asked uh, to draw the turtle from this point that is i want to start from here if you draw a turtle from here it will be the center clear so yes uh, many of you have drawn the mickey mouse diagram we have to see uh, first the circle this and then we have to uh, take the position from here to here and the position should be same from here to here right so it's a simple diagram that how can we draw a mickey mouse face okay does anyone does have any doubts any more doubts if you are clarity then we go to start on new please respond if there is, if you have any questions if you don't we will go forward or else you will go for backward there is no angles over here okay Okay, now we're going to draw a simple diagram that is so i'm resetting this all so here i'm taking an heart shape okay this is my diagram here so i want to write a function so i want to write a program by which we can create an art symbol so here uh, we should my turtle wants to start it will have to start from here so but turtle wants to come downwards so i am going to write the program i want to take a shell so i'm going to take a new file to write the program what is the first step you have to do that is import turtle right so i'm just going to import turtle then i have to assign the turtle value to a variable so i am taking a variable here uh it's a t t as a variable t dot turtle dot turtle so by this command i can get my turtle on screen okay 
so i want to change my shape of turtle that is t dot shape so my i want the shape of turtle okay my turtle has been turned for turtle shape now uh for the next i want to change my screen color what do i have to input first we have to check the screen right so i'm taking screen function that is s s is equal to it's not dot st yeah yeah thank you yes is equal to turtle dot screen so what i have said yes yes should be capital dot all are active yeah okay now i want to change my color of my screen that is s dot what what is the command that is bg color right so i want to take my color as black okay now what should be my total color i am changing my total color to red because the heart symbol they have a common color that is red right so i am taking my total color is also red here i am beginning a function that is t dot begin fill yesterday many of the members ask how can, how to fill uh, a circle with uh, a color right so you have to take this function that is turtle dot begin fill okay and then you can write turtle dot fill color and color name so i want to fill the color with red color okay by this command you can fill the circle instead of color can we use fill color to 7 what is it fill color to 7 so i'm going to start my turtle that is have up to here my turtle is colored right now i am going to take how can we start the program so here i have to go for left t dot left of 140 degrees why 140 degrees see here my, uh, suppose take to the minimum position that is so i want to print my heart on from this position so i want to go up to here right so this position is for me i will take 140 degrees clear so i am taking 140 degrees and then i have to go forward or 180 so it will take me to the upper angle now my turtle wants to make a circle okay i want to i am drawing a circle circle of i am taking the positions that are uh, it must be here the point is so i am taking negative as uh, 90 and uh, positive as and high value let it be take 180 okay let it take 180 yeah i am taking circle that is minus 90 and i am taking uh, the other side is 200 let's take 200 and if it's not we will change our change our values okay so uh, we completed from the left side so, so we are going to uh, 
change your side for the half another half circle that is we have to change the uh, face of this turtle so what is the function that we are using set heading right set heading so i'm changing the heading that is 60 degrees okay and uh, same circle which i have to draw again that is another half circle third grade music class yes someone is talking okay so i will take my turtle forward to 180 degrees again and here we started the fill color right that is red so here we have to end the color that is T dot n fill function. So this function from here to here, this function will fill the color for the whole program. So for this, the one, those one who want to fill the color, you can fill the by taking these two commands, and you have to fill color the color name okay so now we're going to save my program that is i'm saving it as art h so i'm going to run this program okay i'm getting in art symbol so uh, yesterday i say that you can change the color of total and you can change the line of total right so i'm just changing my uh, title name some color thing that makes me that i'm going to change uh, the title that is t dot title i'm going to set my title as Yes, MS. Okay. At the end, I am going to make another one that is T dot I total. What's what is meant by this function? We can hide our turtle, right? So I'm copying this code and I'm placing in chat box yes uh, i request those who have questions they can keep your uh, questions for everyone or else uh, you can keep for organizers only by which uh, there are uh, another two members who knows python so they will clarify your doubts okay yeah i'm going to save my program and i'm going to run it so, what happened yeah it's not moving so showing total object has no attribute title so i'm giving a wrong word that is title where here it's correct no, it's not taken Title is not taken. Okay, we have to take total dot title. Let's try this. Yeah, this time it's taken, right? So you have to take not instead of T, you have to take turtle. Okay, this is my art symbol. Did everyone get it? You can minimize or you can resize your hot size by changing the coordinates okay x and y coordinates so i'm again 
testing this code in chat box. Okay. What is mean by set head? Set heading. So this set heading, uh, where is it? Yeah, set heading will change the heading of your turtle. See, I'm going to show you. Beginning a shell. See here, I am importing turtle. So I am calling my turtle that is x is equal to turtle dot turtle. Yes, somewhere I got screen that is here, right? So now. See, I'm changing my shape that is x dot. I'm changing my turtle shape as turtle. So it has been changed, right? So I'm going to change the heading that is set heading that is x dot set heading. So uh, initially my turtle is in the position of this direction right so i want to change my position to uh, let it be take upward direction what should be the angle that is 90 degrees right we have to change our setting head head setting for 90 degrees I mean, giving 90. If I hit enter, let's see. What turtle has changed his head from this position to upward position. That is x axis to y axis position. Now I can go forward. That is x dot forward of 100. So this time, it instead of going in x axis, it's going in y axis. Okay. Likewise, you can change headings for uh, I'm giving 180. So this time from this direction to it is moving in this direction. Now I'm going forward. It's going to be forward. Okay, clear. Set heading. Okay. Clear up to now. How to make a heart symbol? Hmm? I'm changing my color to green. Let's see. See, now my heart color is green. So, by this way, you can draw a heart. Any more, anyone does any questions? Any more questions? Clear up to here. Now we're going to start our project. That is, so now I request all to follow step by step. Okay. Because uh, maybe the code is lengthy, you can miss your codes. I hope so. So now I'm going to take a new file. And I'm going to take my code from here. That is, first, I want import turtle. So I have an imported turtle. Uh, we're going to design a small turtle race game in which uh, we are going to take uh, five to six turtles of which can win a race by going forward and uh, we're going to make a end line if the turtle touches the end line 
the turtle will be the winner and we'll declare this which color of the turtle is winner so that's our program to take that program uh, we have to import some more modules that is we have to import time we have to import time module <coughs> okay now uh, we have to take uh, many turtles over here if we want to use uh, more than two turtles in a single program you have to import turtle uh, from turtles that is from from turtle import turtle okay you have to take this command that is from turtle import turtle so i want to, uh, as we know that we can set we are going to set the forward and the time required to a turtle to travel from the initial position to the end line so uh, if we design the game uh, what should be the output if we decide that I want to win with the blue turtle, I will go queue the blue as a higher time, which I don't require any game. So going to import a random function that is import random from radiant. Okay. Here I'm going to take this function that is input random. So this function makes my program as a randomly. If I run multiple times, uh, I will get an output that instead of one total, the other total will wins as a randomly. Okay. Now going to start our program. That is, we'll start from screen, right? So that is I'm taking screen as yes. This is equal to turtle dot screen. I'm taking I'm taking a function turtle dot screen. So yes is my variable, right? So I'm going to change my title that is s dot. I want to change my title as uh, I'm going to do title that is b s m s so game i'm giving a title that is dsms game you can give uh, your title as you required okay now i want to give color for the background okay now i'm using color module that is screen color background color that is S dot BG color. So as uh, what color we give? Uh, we'll get take black. Or else you can take another colors like green or magenta or yellow or red as you require. Okay. Here my screen color should have to be very fast. That's why I'm going to take that is turtle speed. Total speed must be very speed. That is, see, turtle speed. We can define turtle speed as 0 to 10. So, 0 is the fastest one, and it will go for up to 10 is the slowest one. Okay. If we're gonna take five, that is five, five should be mediator, right? So it's not so slow, not so fast. It go by medium. Okay. It will go with medium speed. Okay. Now we're going to see on uh, the next time uh, what we have to do. 
we have taken color we have uh, speed in, and now we have to pin up our screen that is so here yeah, i'm taking twitter dot pin up by which my turtle gets pin up so you have to use this pin up function to make your turtle turtle as brighter okay the pin up function will make your turtle brighter so i'm not giving any value so it will so what is vlsck okay okay black spinning is wrong okay thanks you say every part same desktop and give game so pen up function will make our turtle as brighter if you give the values from here that is it is also ranges from 0 to 10 i think so yes 0 to 10 which then value gives you the um, very thick very thick of your turtle okay so i'm not giving any function over here right where i'm not being, uh, mentioning any integer so it will uh, take medial mediate it that is five okay and what should be the next value should be you have to set the position so now i'm going to set the position that is turtle I have to set the screen position so i'm giving the screen position like uh, 150 150 is a positive i have to go for x y axis so i'm giving negative values that is negative 150 comma positive 200 and i have to set a color there it is total the color the color should be i'm giving background is black that i'm giving white okay. so why why we are taking the position and color so we're going to make a small heading at the top of the game that is uh which uh, we have to take function that is total dot right it So we're going to write a title. So here I am giving a title that is Turtle Race. Okay. See, uh, if you set this function, if I'm going to run this, radiant. Let's give it to import random from gradient. Okay. Let's comment this. We're gonna run our program. Module object is not callable. I think from right, okay, okay. From random report. So from random we have to import radian. This one will give you it is not model object not callable. It is from random input radiant. I'm setting my screen. I'm title pin up. I'm going to set my C.
and I can write total race so it's not getting it's not all about the 150 comma 200 okay my screen uh, is not setting for 150 so i am changing the value for 140 Run program. It's not callable again. It's giving the same. Okay, let's go forward. Then see, we will see what will happen at the end. So I want write a title that is turtle race. So if we run this program, our title race will be a very small one. So I want to increase the font, right? So I'm giving font is equal to I'm giving the name. So what are the fonts that we have? We have Times New Roman, uh, Arial, likewise, right? I'm giving Arial over here. Okay, and it should be the uh, font. What should be the font size? I'm giving the font style. Now I'm giving the font size. I want the font size as 30. Okay. Now I want uh, as it as if one set as bold, we can set as bold. If we don't want bold, if uh, we can set it as unbold. That is, I'm giving as bold. That is bold function. Okay. Clear. Now I'm giving the turtle to enter. So this is my screen settings. So here I want to use turtle dot. Okay. I didn't set the position right. I want to use set position. Did anyone commented? Right? Yes, many of the members have been commented here. Sorry, I didn't see that. You have to set the position, right? We set the position of screen. Here, right? Yeah. Thanks, Pranaya. Okay, now I'm saving my code and I'm going to run it. See, I'm getting a title, turtle race. Clear? So I have to set the position. Clear up to here. I'm giving as a comment for this, that is screen setting. Okay. So our first part is completed. That is, we have set it as screen. Now we have to go to shape. Uh, we have to go for and the module that is uh, the pixel of where we have our game should have to run. Okay. Now I'm going to write turtle dot. So uh, where is my position? That is minus 150 to 200, right? So it should be. So what is my position is that is minus 140 to 200 so the negative region so what should be the negative region this is the negative region right minus so we have to take in from the negative side x-axis right minus that is minus 140 that is it should be here right minus let it take minus 140 we're going here and we take in the positive side as a 200 and we have taken our title here so it's set in a screen like this so we're going to design our game in this screen so here we have 
taken our title clear so we have to this much we have the screen pixel of this much now i want to take position uh, we should be my total starts that is uh, this region or this region uh, i want to give uh, output that is uh, which title has been win so i'm going to give output on bottom okay what should be the bottom area we have to take both are negative right x is negative and y is also negative we have to take the position value of this point the corner point should be both are negative that is i'm going to take as that is bottom setting so i'm going to set my position set position to i'm going to take the whole screen that is minus uh, our screen rises to uh, 450 to 500 pixels so i'm going to take 400 pixel for my convenience okay and negative as minus 180 okay now i'm going to fill a color there that is turtle dot color i'm going to fill the color with that is a red one red should be a board so i'm going to take a blue okay i'm taking a color so i want to fill the color the whole one okay now i'm going to begin my fill that is turtle dot begin underscore fill function now i'm going to my turtle to go in the forward direction so we have to go turtle from this position to this position right so i'm going to take forward direction turtle dot forward of instead of forward we can use fd format right is it be uh, simple to write fd to take in whole format okay for forward so i'm taking 800 as forward and i want to turn right to 90 degrees right side so i'm going to turn turtle dot right 90 degrees okay and again the turtle needs to go forward for a less point that is uh, i am taking 250 you can take a uh, range of at least uh, 350 ranges i'm going to take 250 that's enough i think so okay so now forward is okay. now i'm going to take again right position for 90 degrees and i'm again going the same forward direction for 800 degrees forward Yes, total spelling, sir. Okay, T R T L E. Where? Okay, here, right? Instead of T S Q R. Thanks. I'm going to forward about 800 again, and I'm going to turn right 90, and then. I'm going to take again forward for 250. Nothing, I'm going to make a square. That's it. Okay. What is a square? This is a square. 
I want a bottom result square, right? That's why I'm making a square. So this is a square. That's it. Going forward and we've taken right, taking it forward, right, forward, right, and forward. So we're making a small square. Here. Yeah. And now so now I want to go go in my field that is turtle you know turtle dot n underscore field. I'm using this function. Okay. I mean in this function. So I'm going to save my program. I'm going to just check it out. See, I have got a point here. I'm making a square. Instead of or should we they take forward much to have a full screen? So I'm closing and I'm closing again. So this time I'm giving it as instead of 250, I'm giving it as 300. Saving my program and then running it. It's the same, right? Okay, we'll take this video, it will be suitable for us. So I have make a my output session. Now I want to start a one more session that is we have to make a stamp field. I am going to start its point that is I am taking as the that is a stamp. What is what is my stamp? I want to print. Uh, what should be my size of uh, the output that I am taking? That is, we will call it as a stamping. That's why I will take the name as a stamp. I'm I'm taking size. So my stamp size should be 20. Now here we're going to design and finish line. Here, this session is finishing line session. This session is a bottom session. Okay. Now, my stamp size should be 20. What is a stamp? Stamp is a nothing but uh, a square of this point. This must size. Okay. So I'm taking this stamp size as 20. You can take it as 30 or 40. And I want to make how many uh, requirements of my squares. So I'm giving my square size that is square size should be 15. Okay. I have to finish the line that is finish line. It should be brighter of 200 meters. So I'm saving my program and going to check it first. So, uh, okay. It should be black color. I have an error. It is square size is equal to 15, not underscore 15. Is equal to 15. Okay. So now I'm going to take 
total color total color that is i want to take as uh, white okay instead of white you can take red those values so what should be total size shape uh, sorry shape here i am taking square okay i want my turtle as a square shape i want total dot shape size what should be my shape size it should be my square shape that is 20 divided by 15 that should be a, uh, a line of 20 boxes with a width of 15 so i'm taking stamp size sorry i have to take square size should be divided by our stamp size okay i'm closing my parenthesis i'm going to open up So I'm going to save my program and go to run this. So I didn't get any output, right? Is there any errors? No, there is no errors. It's not getting my output. Okay. Okay, we have to take a for loop, right? For i in range, we have to call steps, that is 10 steps. So I am giving it is total dot set position. So I want to set my position for the finish line side. Comma one fifty. So I want to take minus one I into square square size. Into two times now I want to stamp my total what stamp so I'm going to save my program and will get run see my stampings are visible so I want to make another stamping on the right side. So I'm setting my another position. I'm writing another for loop for that. So I'm just copying this for loop and paste it over. Here same i need to set position for finish line but this time i want to add with square size right square size and same as the earlier one but this time i have to change my i as i'm taking j function j that is j into square size into two so I'm saving a program and I'm again running it. So 
it's getting side by side we need uh, ups and downs so what we have to do we have to change our stamping position so i'm going to set position so here i want okay instead of 150 taking and the function that is 150 minus See, I have tested my code in the chat box. Okay, those who have did it do up to down, you can have it. So, for here, I want hide my turtle. That is function we call turtle dot hide turtle. So we have clear the finish line session so now we have going uh, what is our next step we have to design our turtles right how many turtles we have we want to place so that's what i'm taking turtle one so i'm taking turtle one right so i want to place it as turtle one is equal to turtle. So this function indicates that you are taking turtle. So I already said you that if you want to take multiple turtles, you have to import turtle from turtles, turtle from turtle. So I am using this turtle format for here. I am taking turtle one. Yes, turtle spelling. Where in this? Is it good, right? Turtle spelling. Where is the spelling is wrong? Here, okay. So now I am going to speed my turtle that is turtle dot speed. I want to go for speed creation that is zero. Now I want to color my turtle. I want color as I'm taking red one. Okay, so I'm taking my first color as red. 
and what should be my total shape that is total or shape should be total right see i'm doing writing one over here so total one now i want to set this position so before position i have to set pen up right total dot pen up function and setting position total dot uh we have to go to it is minus 250 comma I'm going to set as 50 to 100. Uh, should have to keep with the take 100. I'm going to pin down total dot pin down. So I'm going to save my program and I'm going to run it. I want to make see my first title is here, right? Uh, actually, my first title wants to come on the my cursor point so i want to change my position so see let's see how can we change the position we have i'm just copying this code for the next title i'm going to paste here commenting this let's see what will happen my total is again here Now my turtle is in the initial position. Okay. Now we have to take more turtles to start our race. I'm taking turtle two. So this time I'm taking color as cyan. Uh, okay, and we have to change of position, right? So this time instead of 100, I'm giving 50 of position. So I'm going to save with my program, and I'm going to run it. See, I have an another total on my screen. So it's more faster than this. I'm creating one more total that is total three. So this time I'm giving the color as magenta. Okay, my same position is same, right? So it will give me an error. So I want to change the position. This time I'm doing 100. Instead of 100, I'm doing zero. It is total, total. Everything is good. Now I'm going to run it. What is called? So much of my spelling is wrong. Yeah, in a magenta. So I have one more turtle. So likewise, I need one more turtle on my screen that is turtle four. Okay. 
this time I'm giving my total color as okay. No, it's suggest me a color orange or yellow. Okay, orange. I'm going to get hello. So the position should be uh, I have decreased my position by 50, right? So this time I'm going to take minus 50. Just going to run this program. Now this time I'm getting all my turtles in my left hand side, and my finishing lies is in right hand side. So now we have to write a code to uh, give them all as to run. So why don't we take another um, turtle? So I'm going to take one more turtle, which is turtle five. So this time I'm going to give orange. Okay. And what should be my position? That should be minus hundred. Let's see. Any errors or my position is right? Yeah, so I have how many turtles? Five turtles. Now I'm going to start my race. That is simple. I'm going to go for four. Hit. four. So, uh, you have to give a time to sleep. That is, uh, call it as turtle dot sleep. Giving time is uh, that it be the time sleep should be at least for one minute, sorry, one second. And now it should have to go forward. For I in range, so how many times I have to run? I want to go for 150 times. One fifty times I want to move forward and I'm going to go for little dot FD. It should be have gradient function of one comma five. Should have a radiant from one comma five, so that should be for my total one. I'm copying this line. I'm going to paste it. Unmute it. For five times, that is one. Two, three, four, oh shit, four and five. Clear? Now I want to uh, here up to here my program is completed. This is what this step is. Have we all? Time we are giving movement for turtles. Clear yeah. turtle one, turtle two, turtle three, turtle four, and turtle five. All of forward and radiant should be income of five. So we have to start the program. By just one click so there is a uh, function called turtle dot exit on click by this function we can exit our program by just one click now i'm going to run my program so what's it's giving turtle has no attribute sleep So 
to have it was a time let's check or i don't know it's whether it's time or lecture yeah that's it see which is my winner see on is my winner so i'm exiting by clicking okay so this is our code guys i'm pasting in chat box so it's not getting the whole code that's why i'm pasting it half by half that is the first one is i have pasted in comment box and the next step where it's going for turtle one right so turtle one to all the turtle sessions in one comment in the last session for one comment so totally i am sending three comments how to hide turtle lines while while moving you can use pen up okay pen up or pen down so instead of uh, why don't we use for that line so i'm using this function to rest the turtle for one second okay so i'm saving my program and again i'm running it see the line should be our uh, visibility that's only for our visibility right actually the code is huge and uh, you can also print uh, actually you have to print uh, which color turtle has been worn see this time randomly the yellow color turtle has been worn the race right so i'm just closing it and i'm running it again <laughs> now for this time let's see which color turtle will be the fastest one yeah they are running 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 so this time maybe it's tie right see the both turtles enter for the same time so this time they are tied the match okay that's it for today guys we have making a program to race turtles the fight turtles in a to run a fight turtles in a race what is the use of gradient gradient is a function to use uh, called uh, uh, it may say random chosen for some if you uh, for example i am taking five numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 or if i want to choose the random gradient in either uh, it will give the output like a, a random variables like uh, 1 5 3 2 1 like this okay it will give the output uh, suggested to your input with randomly outputs so there are many functions which you have to practice uh, i mean the random functions are in strings no not in strings in integers so if you go and see the integer values there you can find a random function by which you can use a random function to print the given input in a random output okay Okay. See, if you are difficult, if you are uh, facing difficulties understanding the program, uh, you can comment me after the session. I will explain the whole program and again. Okay.
anyone does have any questions all are getting output or not we'll send this code to your emails or we'll upload it in a whatsapp group okay this time i think uh, magenta yeah it's magenta so likewise you can change your colors of your turtles or color of your background screen or color of your bottom uh, see the code is not ended over yet here right so you have to yes you have to print the down box that which turtle has been won actually the time is not there that's why i'm not going to say that we'll go and see tomorrow the remaining code or else up to now it's enough so tomorrow we can see how can we define functions so up to now it's enough okay if you those who want to try they can try uh, actually if you run this program you run this program uh, the output all the turtles uh, if any one turtle has won the race like this time also i think magenta will win yeah you have to print the down box that you have to take a position of uh, maybe a pixel of pixel of uh, maybe 200 uh, minus 200 to uh, this time this word will be negative and positive right so negative will be minus 200 and positive will be 100 okay you will take Minus hundred and hundred, and try a code that if any uh, try to print which turtle has been won the race. Okay, just try. So today you have assignment, right? The assignment have to be submitted. The assignment is you have to print tables from user input. That is from one. If I give one to twenty, you have to print the tables from one to twenty. If I give, you have to print the table from one to hundred. You have to print all the hundred tables from one table to hundred. The table clear. That's your assignment for today. Why we use turtles? See, turtles are used for. uh students uh, what do we say that is enjoyment for that as always uh, also the turtles are going to use for 3d designing in uh, companies like google and youtube they design 3d designs using turtles for the background to uh, like if you import .js files like uh, what are those uh, Articles.js as well as the transactions.js. Uh, if you go, if your cursor is going to move, the turtle uh, background will be highlighted, right? Likewise, these programs will work there. Okay. Like as like as JS files, we'll use py files. yeah we will repeat this code for tomorrow session for first 10 to 15 minutes yeah yes because it's a huge program actually turtles is the last part for you to end with the end the course but we're telling this turtle in middle of the course okay because many of you are facing some problems that you don't have mobile phones 
you are using mobile phones that's why we're taking the titles in middle the output got incorrected in multiplication program charita okay you just send your code uh, just upload your code in our group whatsapp group we'll check it out okay or else you can send me the code i will rectify it and will send the code clear let me see for tomorrow okay sir the session had been ended this one leave you can leave okay have you enjoyed today's session maybe someone not because it's a little time the all time goes for the code right So I'm going to run it again for all. See, this time, this time, this time, maybe tight. Yeah, no, no, no. This time, see on will work. So, this is the code. That's it. Yes, who is this? Lakshmi Charita. Please tell me the again, sir. Which code? Multiplication program. Huh? Okay. okay. Are you there? Yes, sir. See, this is my program, right? So, what should I have to print? I have to print a multiplication table of given number. So, who is giving the number? User is giving the number, right? So, yes, sir. if so, here we have to take an input function. That input will take the command from user and give it to x that is a variable okay i'm just printing the multiplication table of given number is what should we have given the number it is stored in x value right so we are printing the x value this is just for uh, knowing that which number is we are giving okay if i commented this line This line may be necessary, non necessary, it leave it. So now I'm taking a for range loop that is for i in range one comma. So tables will start from one to ten, right? But our Python will start from zero itself. So the first position will be the zeroth position. So what should be in the last position? It should be n plus one position that is ten plus one that is eleven. Okay, clear up to here. Now I'm printing my x value. What what is the x value? If you are taking one, should if you are taking uh, let it be five, five one. So i starts from zeroth position. That is one. Five into one is equal to. This is my x five, right? Five into one. That is five, and it repeats um, five into two. This time the range will second. That is 5 into 2 is equal to 5 into 2. What will be the 5 into 2? That is 10. So just run this program. Here is asking for enter the number. So I'm giving a number. Let it be 5. If I hit enter, see the first iteration, it go for x into 1 is equal to x into 1. That is 5. x into 2, x into 3, x into 4, x into 5. Likewise, it will generate the code of the program. Okay. Sir, okay, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Now okay. comes, sir. The output is correctly comes. 
okay thank you sir yeah it's it's okay pranaya you write that why you use turtle input turtle instead of turtle t is equal to turtle dot turtle see uh, for the huge codes just remember for the huge codes uh, huge number li uh, number lines of codes instead of using turtle instead of using a variable that is uh, i'm taking here is t is equal to something like turtle dot turtle if you take in the function t it may uh, give error in middle of the code for setting time for setting the positions it will give errors that's why uh, many of us uh, many of the coders use turtle function that is turtle just uh, okay pranaya i will send you the code just try for once uh, instead of using turtle you just uh, initialize or assign those turtle values to a uh, variable that is or t it may be x or it may be your name just try for once and you will come to know what will be the result okay okay clear okay so okay so i'm going to end the session have a nice day bye bye